Okay, so this is gonna be another Dell battery hack. Here you get your battery. And what you do is you take a little knife, kind of make a small hole in the end of it. You can see the silver part of the battery right there and there. You take your meter and determine which is positive and which is negative. Okay, this video is for informational purposes only. Uh, these can't explode, apparently. So, uh, don't try this at home. So this, this is actually, this one is the negative side. This one is the positive side. Um, that's just my guess. It looks like this end is the negative end because it's just flat. This end here has got a tip on it and it's got insulation around it. So that indicates this is the positive side. Negative side, positive side. Negative side, positive side. And so what I've got is actually I've got a small adapter what I was going to use to feed voltage in. I have a 7.5 and a, what is this, 9 volt. I'm going to try it with the lower voltage first, 7.5, and uh, let's see what I can do. It's possible that well, since there's no voltage in this battery at all, it should be fine to run this into it. And uh, let's see if we can bring it up a little bit. If we bring it up a little bit, then we can try this 9 volt. And then if it comes up from the 9 volt, then we can put it on the 12 volt. But uh, I think if it has 9 volts, if it'll hold 9 volts, then the, the laptop will charge. Okay, so, battery CPR. So we had 2.6 volts originally. It needs probably 3.5 to uh, be recognized by the computer and then charged. So I have my little adapter plugged in. This is a 7, 7.5 volt adapter. And I put it on here. And I got, I've got, I put it on here, I just held it on for like two minutes. Then I've got like almost five volts out of it now. So I, I think we can bring this back into, uh, back into uh, charging. And uh, thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me, 707-443-8347, Bass Tech 72588. I also do laptop repairs and uh other uh, device repairs, electronics. Okay, so when it started, 2.6, held it for a minute, jumped up to 4.3, held it for another minute, jumped up to 5.4, held it for another minute, jumped up to 6.5, another minute, 7.6. I think we got this one going. Okay, so, it always helps if you have the right charger and so this thing has got some disc in it, it's a driver disc for printer, I bought this on eBay and unfortunately, oh it had Norton on it, oh Norton you know with the back door thing right? Um, so it's an HP power supply, but it's a Dell machine, so it may not, the, the power supply and the battery may not marry up at this point. Um, I didn't see any charging light. There's no light on the power supply either. Um, I don't see a charging light here it did not come on sometimes there's a charging light over here where the connector fits in this one was uh 
it's loaded with a bunch of crap and it's really slow that's why they sold it and so basically <clears throat> I showed you um, I can show you how to minimize the stuff that's running through your task manager and uh, it probably you can eliminate some some programs that are in the background that are running that you don't need so I usually use Firefox just because it's it doesn't pick up as much spyware and adware crap um, and of course my favorite is super anti-spyware but uh, I always delete any of the cookies uh, all the temporary files before I can shut my computer down I always do that I always dump the temporary files before I shut my computer down because sometimes theoretically if you leave the cookies on um, they may inspire some other thing to happen in your computer next time you fire it up the key is rebooting so if you have a problem ideally you don't want to reboot your computer you want to clean it you want to dump the file before you reboot because otherwise it kind of like gains some foothold when you reboot um, and in some processes may require a reboot yeah this one is really slow see it just came up that took that long and I'm playing this tape fast right I'm uh, going uh, faster than normal so we go over here and we're probably going to find that this battery is not charging simply because zero available plugged in not charging so it's likely that this charger is not going to match up with this computer and that's probably the main problem they've had with this from the beginning they never had the right power supply and said oh this is you know this is bunk let's get rid of it so yeah that's your computer tip for today thanks for watching power adapter cannot be determined your system will operate slower and battery will not charge. This problem might be solved by ensure the plug is inserted, connected Dell 65 watt AC power or higher. So it requires 65 watts power supply. And so I'm not sure what that HP is, but apparently it's not enough. And thanks for watching, guys. And